Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, previously, uh, we did a whole lot of kind of miscellaneous things, uh, but some of the bigger ones were uh, starting the Monday Landing um, story with uh, Air Strauss, and uh, we followed up with Mr. Robo, which was kind of a small-time uh, small Landy. Uh, we also did a homestead robbery with Javier, uh, made some money, and we spent a bit of time in Valentine and Camp, um, kind of working out uh, some customizations of our weapons and clothing and uh, just, again, just kind of general random stuff. Um, there were a few other things we did, like a, there was a bounty and some other side stuff, but uh, nothing too crazy. And so with that being said, let's just uh, jump right back in. Now, my main goal here is to head out towards Hosea and follow up with a couple of those other lenders out that way. We'll save Thomas Downs for later, because there's uh, kind of when we're back in town more. But before we do that, I wanted to uh, meet up with Albert out here. So I'll just kind of place a marker down this way. So we got a bit of a bit of a way ahead of us. Talk to him. He's watching. He's always watching. He's never talking. They won't forgive you. Uh -uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, uh -huh. friend. None. Okay. Are you okay there, buddy? I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> well, it ain't happening. No, 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 it isn't. <laughs> that's why, that, that, that's why uh, I'm out here well away from them. See, they come for me, but I'm watching. Yeah. I, I never sleep. No. I never do. Okay. Um, well, now. Come on. Just <laughs> so, no, I'm just sitting right here. Okay, um, girl. When you started talking about smelling, I, the first thing I thought of was I could smell you getting off the elevator. I don't know why. Oh, you're kidding me. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Hey. Distracted. distracted. <laughs> oh, my dad. No, 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 no. Get back on the horse. Get back on the horse. It's going to get away. <laughs> that was a that was a 3 star. And it got away, didn't it? Oh, oh, no, it didn't. Okay. We're doing this, right? We, ha we have to. Oh, I damaged him, crap. Uh, I feel like the fox kind of deserves to live at this point. If they're going to. What's that I just said? Well, I 
I tried. Yeah, the bow should definitely do that. That's a good sized animal. Because I think it was marked as a medium. Oh man, I don't know if I'm really equipped for that. Oh, we got a buck, man. Hmm, that's tempting. I just need the antlers, but I really don't. I'm not equipped for a clean kill on that. The buck, on the other hand, I can do that. Oh my god, they're just throwing animals in my way to distract me. That is one that I want. And I think... Oh, I can try taking it down with a bow. I mean, it's a big animal, but... Might as well give it a shot, it's right here. Oh, that's so big. I think that's, I think the bow's too small for it without improved arrows. Definitely. But we could use the meat, and if I can get the antlers. Where? There you go. Oh, that was a, that was a good hit, apparently. So I need a higher power rifle or improved arrows for this, I do believe. But I don't necessarily need a uh, three star for this. Come on. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> the game is just... The game is just messing with me at this point. <laughs> uh, I hate this. I love it, but I hate it. Okay, come on. We gotta follow up with him. He's already wounded. I 
can hear him. Oh, yeah, he's not. He's definitely not far. Well, he's already damaged at this point. Oh, he's going down. Oh, that's sad. I know, I know, I know. Remind me not to do this without a rifle. Ah, oh, boy. Yeah, throwing animals in my path is a guaranteed way to uh, distract me. Oh, skunky. I was saying. I don't really need the pelt, though. Please give me the antler this time. Okay, good. The pelican stakes, it's not a good one anyway. And I'd rather keep the fox. Were we really coming up here to see Albert? Or was it a hunting expedition turned we ran into Albert? I kind of want to see if those bighorns are back there. I'm trying to remember if the bighorns were uh, carcass, pelt, carcass. Okay, I just pulled up the list. I don't know if I can take on Bighorn. They're, they're probably small hey, enough. Help me! My horse died and I'm stuck here. Uh, you gotta help me, mister. Hmm. I don't trust you. Come on, mister. It won't take long. Let's see how this goes. <sighs> sure, I can help. How about we skip the small talk, eh? I knew it. I knew it. I recognize him, I think. Jerk. Okay then, girl. Of course he drinks Guarma rum. Oh, yeah, let's get out of here before that guy thinks that we did something we shouldn't have. We will get to Hosea eventually. <laughs> One of these days. So you're telling me that if I throw random animals at you, I can distract you? Absolutely. There's a reason I went into biology. Okay. While we are here, um, I suppose we could stop and pick up my mail. on the way. Easy there. Pronghorn up here? Really? It's an American pronghorn doe. I hear horses, I think. That didn't sound friendly. <laughs> Not that the elk sound particularly friendly. There we go. 
Okay, we got our white tail. That was the only thing I was missing for the white tail. Alright. Got some more stuff in the compendium. You know, I bet for a person that's not used to living out in the woods or being out in the woods, that the, those sounds would just be absolutely terrifying to them. So let's go till morning. Well, I could cook up a little bit of food. Uh, let's cook first. Let's do some venison. That's good enough for now. I'll give the rest of the camp. Um, morning. Look, so Albert's back out at it again. Let's go, girl. Let's go and catch up with him. So I really have no idea where we where we are. Throw it up. Great horned owl. Oh, it's snacking away. Look at that. Try not to disturb you, sorry. Mr. Morgan, I'm sorry, my my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, oh, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No, wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. Thought I'd be safe, given the wind. Yeah, sure. You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know <laughs> me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. <laughs> a while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. Don't blame them. Me neither. Hey, shh, here's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Good boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back. Stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They'd think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your uh. eyeballs. Come on. 
Stay still, my beauties. Uh. Um. <laughs> Albert. <laughs> Technology. No, they do not. On the other hand, looks like they may be fans of you. You got wolves, Mr. Mason. Oh. This is a fool of an idea. I tell you. How about you? Hey, is that all of them? We might have kept the wolves from the door. My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. Oh, what a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? Well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well... I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude, but no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. Yeah, then hold on there. Let's see what we got. Uh, might as well skin him, I guess. The only trophy I need is a photograph, and I hope it catches on. Can use the meat. So at least it wasn't all for nothing. See if I can take this one too. Okay, so I can hold three. All right. Good enough. Well, that was eventful. Uh, a lot more than I thought it was going to be. So let's head back to camp to unload this. And uh, we'll head out to see Hosea after that. Oh, the fox, fox decomposed on me. Well, I got my, I got my uh, antler. That's what counts. So not the most uh, successful hunting expedition in terms of camp upgrades, but we got some, some use out of that. Thank you. Oh, I was uh, done for you. You say to me, thank you. Oh, uh, take something from my back for the trouble, though. I'm, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, take a minute now. Here, drink this for the pain. What's he have? I wonder. Cartridges. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. My leg feels like it's like it's on fire. Well, that's kind of what you get for dealing with those kind of traps. But all right. I can understand trapping for food, I just don't, there's, there's, you know, at least do something quick if you're doing it for hunting, for sport. Ooh. What have we here? Okay.
<laughs> White tail buck. Oh, that's a perfect one too. Uh, let's see. Can I get his track? No, not that one. There we go. Okay, let's uh, see if I can get this one. Might as well, might as well. I don't think I, I don't think I needed a carcass for the buck. I think it was just the uh, antler again. Not exactly the easiest place to be hunting either. Way the heck over there. I'm sure they can angle on him. Get a clearer shot that way. Not if he busts me first, though. I could almost get him from here. Let's not lose him. I don't think he was fleeing me. I think he's just walking away. Okay, there you are. Need a clear shot, though. Right. Yeah, I can do that. Now that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Come on. I'm gonna need you for this one. Which means we actually want to get back to camp on this. Because I don't want this one going bad. I didn't even notice that I get antlers out of that, because I think that's what I actually needed. <laughs> if not, we're just going to get a lot of food. Good haul today, girl. Yeah, that's for sure. Wow, am I bloody. Okay. <laughs> Easy. This horse is laying down. Looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Hmm. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on, let the wolf see the rabbit. Sure looks like another pile of shit crumbs, don't it? Let 
Let's give it some of the magic touch. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. Ah, something. Mm, anything. I'll take a cigarette butt at this point. <laughs> Being nice to you, so be nice to me. That's the way you're supposed to talk to your instruments when you work in the lab. Wait a damn second. Look at this. Oh, who's got gold? Who's got gold? Woo he I got some gold. Ha 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 ha. Look at this, baby. Ha ha. <laughs> Wait till Tex sees this. Oh, the look on his face. Should I rob him? Guess you found some after all. Good for you, friend. Yeah, barely size of a pebble. Don't know why I got it. Oh, you did find something. I thought about it for a second, but. Who's that? Arthur, dumbass. Welcome <laughs> back. Let's, uh... Oh, look. Camp's actually doing good on food still. Now they're going to be doing even better, because I got Man, we got a haul on us. Food. There she is. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Uncle drinking, of course. Everyone's favorite uncle. Woo, Arthur. Okay, let's do some donations. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. Buck antlers. Okay. Wolf Thank hearts. You. Big game meat. Elk antlers. Okay. Mature uh, venison. Poor snake carcass, poor wolf pelt. Perfect buck pelt. And ah, buck carcass. I can turn this into something special. Very nice. Thank you, Arthur. Hey, if you could give me some leather working tools, I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. Okay, elk antlers. And hanging bones. There we go. So, I like the little decorations. Well, a few changes never hurt. I see it now. You probably have a family with big farmhouses and titles. <laughs> ah, you're all the same. Hey, don't you spread lies about me. <laughs> hey, Sean. Hi there, Arthur. Always good to see you. Hi there, Arthur. Hmm. The reverend's out here. Oh, he's peeing. <laughs> uh, Mr. Swanson. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Sorry for uh, disturbing you in your time of uh, urination. I just discovered that Jack's voiced by a female actress. How are you, Mr. Morgan? The preacher, I remember. Soon, please. Yeah, hm. yeah. We'll get to him eventually. Uh. Let's see up here. Hey. What are you working on? Fire arrows. Interesting. Mm. 
You give me a bottle of moonshine and I'll make you some. Moonshine? Mm. Whiskey do? No, it has to be moonshine. Whiskey ain't strong enough. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. All right, um, what's the camp fund at? Okay, so not quite enough of the stuff I want to do. We'll do the leather working tools, but I want to do Dutch's tent first. Because that'll help with the contributions. Oh dear lord. Oh my god, dude, seriously? Yeah. Smooth. That's low, Uncle. Yes. I'm a bit short right now. You're always a bit sure short. Know how to impress the ladies. <laughs> uh this guy, I tell you. Okay. Let's see, it's still pretty early, I think. Not gonna listen. There's a few other things you might need to worry about. Tilly! Hi, Arthur. Mary Beth. Hi, Arthur. <laughs> okay. Well, interesting. Yeah, lack of oxygen, uh, the cold, radiation, being in a vacuum. I mean, <laughs> take your pick. Um, let's see what time it is. Oh, no, no, I wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> Guess we're sleeping. Well, we might as well sleep till morning, I guess, at this point. At this juncture. We'll do you till morning, and then we'll go out to see Hosea. Then we go to Washington. Got a mark on him. I'm gonna go see what that's about. Morning, Arthur. Hi, Charles. That's odd. All right. Good morning, Arthur. Okay, so let's head out towards Hosea. We're gonna follow, I think this is Chick Matthews. We'll do Chick Matthews, and then we'll head for him. And I'm totally going the wrong way. There we go. 
crows. This is my moment. Come on, gimme. I am pretty sure those were geese. The flight pattern was right, the sound was right. Oh, that looks like a goose. Goosey feathers! Sorry. And bird meat. Oh yeah. Sorry, not distracted whatsoever. What are you talking about? Okay, okay so now I can officially stop trying to uh, massacre geese. Because despite what people think about them, they're actually pretty cool animals, I think. We don't need a. We don't really need firearms for what we're doing. I never realized how much like just general practice and knowledge has improved my abilities when it comes to finding animals and hunting them. Very chicken down. Oh god. Yeah. Look, that one. <laughs> there I am contributing to that bottleneck again. Arthur Morgan, man, the man responsible for uh, murdering prairie chickens. Okay, so in that distance, you can see that little windmill. That's Emerald Ranch. That's where we're heading to. Get to Hosea. And we're turning off here first yeah. to find Chick Matthews, our second debtor. Easy now. After we stop and pet the dog, of course. Hello, boy. Come here. He didn't look too happy. Hey boy. Yeah, maybe not. Australian Shepherd. Okay, I'll leave him alone. Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the green horn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Hey, get back here. You owe us money. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> the more I chase, the more you owe. Jerk that was close. Come on. Oh, well, now they just run over. I did not mean to do that. Oh my god. <laughs> They're just throwing animals in my way at this point. I can't be distracted by animals when I'm. Oh, dude, you're just asking for it.
I'm gonna tie you up. Just because I can. Look, look, I got the money, but it's hidden. Untie me and I'll tell you where it is. You're no place to bargain, boy. Just untie me, I'll tell you. Well, first of all. <sighs> Goddamn treasure hunt? You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. I'm begging you, stop! Hmm. You know, I think I'm just gonna leave you like that. Aren't you gonna untie me? Nope. Okay then, girl. You got the map. Do the decent thing. Shouldn't have ran, buddy. Okay. That's in a tree. See you later. I'll come back for you. I promise. <laughs> oh wow, the sarcasm in that comment. That's gotta be up here. The markers point me up this way. Plenty of good trees. Oh, that's great. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Oh yeah, look at the size of that BB. Okay. I'm looking for a hole. That looks pretty. Oh yeah, look at that. Very nice. <laughs> He's not even on the map. I love it. Okay. Oh, there's a house right here. Well, since we're right here, we better check it out for valuables, and then we'll head over to Hosea. I'm not sure if you'd still be there. We could shall we just go back and check. We're not far. Whoa, so, let's see what's in here first, though. How long ago was it that Hosea headed out this way? Ooh. I just heard a crane. Um, mysterious sermon at the second hour under the half moon by the great love and grace of our savior uh, Kuko Waba Voyager of Time and Galaxies we can cast off our corporeal shell corporal shells uh, so his vessel can take our spirit to the promised realm to live in peace and power until the 2000th year when we will return for the new chosen and worship once Again, at the peak of the mountain, Sh Sean, Shan, in his love we rejoice always. Okay. Uh, that is most definitely a skeleton. Some kind of shaman. Is there anything in here? Oh, chimney. What's up, the chimney? Yeah, I always check the chimney. Rum. Aged pirate rum. That's cool. So. I hear cranes again. Stands, nothing there. Uh, no, this way. I see a cigarette card. Dr. Hawthorne's. Okay, anything else here? Nightstand. Open cocaine gum. I'm not exactly sure what that stuff is. Cocaine gum. Cigarettes. 
not much of value here, but... Open snake oil. It's not so far. I mean, not that I would say no to the um, aged room, but... So these must have been pirates. Oh, now you just show up like that. Oh, yeah, after all the frickin' Goose Frava. Goose Frava. All right. I want to hear, I want to see where the cranes are. I can hear them. Got a horse. Morgan. A toad. Oh yeah. Western toad. We haven't looked at the compendium in a bit. Anyways, that was that was a interesting find. Kind of a unique place. A pirate's life, you know. Hey there, girl. Just ran ran over a, what's probably a mallard. Alright, let's uh head down to Hosea. For some reason, I thought I was further away. Um, All right, girl. Hopefully, it's not a big predator. Yeah, you good, girl? Okay. You're okay, girl. It's okay. I always found this place to be, uh, really pretty. It's an interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. Uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. 
You heard the man. <laughs> Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> I love the emphasis on that. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. <laughs> he up there. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. <laughs> so what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. How you holding up? Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. Oh, he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not <laughs> too much. Pa! Yeah, Emerald Branch is an interesting place, and I have never seen the daughter before myself. Apparently she is around, so we could check, uh, keep a lookout for her, but apparently she doesn't come out of the house. I like how he commented about us gallivanting too. He's been out here, and we've been out west. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? I want to see Jose go to work. Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Michael! 
But since Jose is still doing his thing. I know there's some stuff upstairs, but... Too funny. Oh my god, really? I was worse than you, sir. I was broke. Look at me now. I dance every night. Women adore me. <laughs> I can magic. Seriously, it's all about the spine. We think our brains is in our head, but they are in our backs too. Oh, oh. Tell you're a very wise man, but the troubles they're killing you. That's the spot. Oh, tell me this ain't beautiful. No, it is. Give me a minute, sir. You'll have to wait. Women, song, dancing. Dancing, do you like dancing? No, I've never been a dancing man, no. Well, that, that explains everything. That explains it. Uh, give me a minute, sir. <laughs> Don't let those devils kill you. Is that better? Just a bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a little bit better. This session has been free, but perhaps I might call again. How much will it cost me? I'm offering you virility, and you're asking me about money, sir. I ain't made of money, Mr. My rates are reasonable. Have a think about it. I'll be around this way next week. Goodbye, gentlemen. Nicely done. I've never actually watched what he was doing out there. That was amazing. Oh man, they have cattle. Okay, don't don't butcher their animals right now. Bad timing. Get on, dear boy.
Damn it, they're on to us. <laughs> we need to get out of here. Don't worry. I got this. Get that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly how I remember it. What do you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. No, I think we've learned our lesson there. And a few other lessons besides. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Yeah. Doing off the road. <laughs> How's that? Yeah. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? I'm gonna stay out here. Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. Nice haul. Come on. Don't get spotted. Huh, I actually got that one. Yeah, I thought that would have worked. Okay. So, while we are here, let's go take care of Lily. I think that's the house. With the daughters kept. Oh, now you want to come over to me. Oh, wait, that was a different dog. You have any idea of the whole I mean? Oh, come on! Why's it always gotta be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved I me. I do! I do, but what I get paid ain't enough for one person, let alone two. Your money's got to be your problem now. The only problem I got is this bleating going on in my ear. Now lay off it, Lily. God damn it. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry, I don't have it right now. Well then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lessening damn money. Son of a bitch. Take 
right. You got Not your money. Leave, leave me alone. No, hear about this. I didn't steal that. It's a debt. Oh, damn it. Hey. Goddamn fool. This ain't a damn choice. No. Please, no. I've had it with you now. Don't do this. I'll take that as a yes. Just don't trust you. Well, I already went that far. <laughs> Go on, get going. <laughs> Oh, he got back up. Oh, boy. Are you kidding me? This is bad. Someone help. Yep. Okay, there. Well, could have gotten a bit smoother, but you know. So what we're doing essentially is we're going to scout out uh, the ranch for their animals, see what they have. Awesome. Slow it up. It it just um passed out. <laughs> That's too funny. Uh, can I study it? No. Because it's quote unquote dead. <laughs> it's okay, little guy. I'm not gonna hurt you. Dim farm animals, though. That might be a different story. This is a stealth operation here. We're going real quiet, you see. Perfect out. Oh, stay the chicken. Like one chicken. Check out the cows. Oh yeah. Oh, they have an ox. Oh, the ox can be really challenging to get. 
I think we should go for the ox above everything else. Okay, I'm gonna try this. He's already getting angry with me. That's my... Cows just go back to laying down. Now they're like they're like okay, it's just it's just the ox. Okay, I just, now I need my horse. There she is. Come on, hon. Come on, before the guards circle back. How smooth was that? And the hide should be good as long as nothing happens to me. I'm actually gonna let Arthur uh, sleep it off. Oh, raccoon. Cool. Those can be surprisingly hard to come by. Okay, let's sleep. We might be uh, making a few trips out here for this. There's also probably some good hunting ground up north from here. So, we will be back. And hey look, our buddy's here. So, let's go up this way. And then we will make our way back home. Digestible, apparently. Aside from that, <laughs> very well. How's the project go? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant, although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace 
of the wild horses here for weeks. Only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. Well, how about I drive him over? Oh, that might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure. Wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're pretty safe with the horses in that realm. Where's our quarry? Taken? Go <laughs> oh, I had him going good too. Move it up. Good Mustang. Come on. Go, go. Right, he is pretty. You are a genius. No, but I can ride a horse. Well, in my world, that makes you a genius. You're too <laughs> kind. <laughs> How are the uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing. Here, I have a print of the wolves before they try to eat us. Mm. It's for you. That's real fine. Well, thank you. Take care, Mr. Mason. <laughs> you too, sir. You too. That'd be so cool. Now for two final checks. He's such a cool guy. Before they tried to eat us. Okay, girl. Alright, and we are going to head home with our quarry. Let's see, quickest route. Let's go right here. So I know that's kind of a low down way to get a, a, a pelt, but uh, just walking in and stabbing the cattle, I can't fight back basically. I'm sorry. 
Bring me something well, soon if you can, Arthur. I can do. Ah, I hear you. Now this I can work with. Good job, nice. Morgan. Okay. Get out of here. Leopold? Ah, uh, ah, that reminds me. I got some debt money for the box. Yeah, I was just gonna say that, yep. Morning, Arthur. I'm just doing laps here at this point. My lady. Okay, give all debts. Molly. Hi. Very nice. Okay. And let's see. Ledger. I suppose I could actually donate some money to this and we could get in, in some good stuff. Looks like I'm doing most of the work here though, people. Okay, so. Get uh, medicine and ammunition up. They don't cost much. Yeah, provisions, we're good for now. I'm okay with that. Um, Do money. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Whatever. Good work, okay, Ledger. I think that would be close enough. Close to enough. Yeah. So by doing that, um, like I said, it's going to encourage others to contribute more than what they have been. So that should help us get some extra funds in. I'm going to sleep just for a journal update in case I missed any. I'll go till evening for now. since we flipped through this, so let's get a jump on it. Um, Eric Strauss is back lending money, and I'm back collecting it. Uh, the work mostly re revolts me and shames me. Somehow robbing people honestly with a gun and fists is less repellent than robbing them uh, fully in concordance with the law. It'll be the, use the usual sort of uh, desperados, sick farmers, pregnant maids, lovesick young men and other dupes desperate enough and stupid enough to take Strauss's terms. A user's life may be a comfortable one, but it is foul work. And honestly, I would agree with that. And so that was kind of a, should have been from the previous episode. Okay, that's a Jensen. Uh, another body that seems linked somehow to the previous one. More paper in the mouth, maybe directions in some uh, to some place. I don't know. And that's referring to um, American Dreams, which is the serial killer we've been kind of following. Some does, chipmunk, or chipmunk or squirrel, squirrel. Um, saw Mr. Mason again. This time he was taking pictures of, of wolves. Uh, still doing his hardest to get himself eaten, of course. And that was how we started this episode. 
Um, Jose and I went robbing, just like in the old days. A father and son pair of clowns at some farmhouse. Stole a wagon, sold it to some rat Jose had met at some old odd place called Emerald Ranch. What goes on there, I cannot tell, but this little purchaser of stolen goods has us go rob his own family. Even by my standards, that was low. But the other father and son we robbed was proof that even God makes mistakes sometimes. Uh, Hosea performed brilliantly as some kind of huckster selling re restorative care uh, to crooks' backs. The um, whole thing was utterly ridiculous and brilliant, and thanks for that jab at chiropractics. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I, that performance was pretty dang good. Of course, what he was doing was not chiropractics, but big difference, I know. Uh, helped Mr. Mason take another picture, this time of wild horses, and he gave me a beautiful print of one of the wolves that nearly ate him. <laughs> Which, I love Albert, he's such a cool guy. Okay. And that's it, that's the end. Alright, that is a good place to close things out. Uh, to recap, we first met up with Albert Mason out in the west, and then very distractedly made our way out east to meet up with Hosea. Um, we called in on a couple of debtors, uh, Chick Matthews and Lily Millet, and uh, met Hosea. Uh, and we did a basically a coach robbery of 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 a uh, this guy's family or by marriage. Sorry, <laughs> and um, basically uh, the guy is willing to buy coaches off of us, stolen coaches. And he also can act as a fence. And so we kind of made a really important connection there by heading out that way. And that was at Emerald Ranch, um, which is kind of an interesting location. Um, so now that we've collected the first round of deaths, the only thing we have left is Thomas Downs, as far as the debtors go. And uh, now that Jose is back in town, of course, like we have access to the fence, uh, which is really nice. And we met Albert once again before we made our way back here. And that's where we are. So... Uh, with that being said, let us close things out. I will be continuing tonight, so if you're here live, stick around. Otherwise, thank you all for joining, and I will see you all later.